Yeah, turning to our first alert forecast, so many amazing things being celebrated right now. It's yeah. just good that we've got good weather again because, you know, it was pretty rainy on Christmas. Yeah, such a such a big soaker for the holiday the day after, too. I know we were talking earlier in the week. You had so many folks itching to get outside, probably mm -hmm. a lot of kids who had outdoor presents looking to get outside. At least oh, they've yeah. now had that chance. Our sports team had some rain down in Jacksonville today. Oh, they yeah. did. That's yeah. right. But luckily for game time tomorrow, that rain will be out of the picture. Good. So That's uh, good if anyone's uh, making a last minute travel, dash down there uh, with the game uh, now just a little over 13 hours away from kickoff there for the Gator Bowl tomorrow. If you're going there to root on the Tigers or just watching from home, either way, looking at good weather at noontime when the game gets underway. 53 degrees, though, a little cool even by Jacksonville standards but at least they'll have partly cloudy skies, some sunshine punching through those clouds. So uh, hey, whatever happens in the game, just can't blame it on the weather. That's the one thing. Satellite radar. Next couple of days, though, still going to be dominated by this slow-moving, sprawling area of low pressure centered now over the Ohio Valley, helping to drag a big surge of cold air down across the Great Lakes into the nation's heartland. And then that counterclockwise flow arcing that cold flow directly toward us here and uh, already taking our temperatures down quite a bit. If you've been out in the last few hours, even if you were out, say, 5, 6 o'clock this evening, you were starting to feel that temperature dip, and it's uh, quite a, a sharp one compared certainly to how we started and even got into the uh, work or the uh, week here uh, as recently as yesterday with highs in the 60s. This is this big reservoir of cold air that's getting dragged southward around that area of low pressure. You got 30s in St. Louis, Louisville. We're down to 43 in Greenville, you see there, and uh, this is just going to keep uh, pumping our way here as we go into the next few days. So expect this cold air to be sticking around through the end of 2023. The next 24 hours, though, not just going to be dominated by these cold temperatures, but also at least by some sunshine. As we go through the overnight period here, we'll continue to watch generally clear skies across the upstate in toward northeastern Georgia, too, just with some scattered clouds across the mountains. Those clouds in western North Carolina tomorrow, though, as we get more of a predominant wind flow up and over the mountains, that lift at the highest elevations may just be enough to stir up some scattered snow showers here. Not likely to see a whole lot of those flakes reach some of the lower elevations in the valleys, but eh, nothing more than a few flurries uh, may be possible there. Not really expecting accumulation with these snow showers, even as they persist, as you can see, through tomorrow evening tomorrow night and uh, even in uh, some regards all the way into our Saturday could lead to nothing more than a dusting on some of those highest elevation surfaces while we uh, generally start to see sunshine uh, continue across parts of the upstate. So for tonight, your low temperature in the mountains around 28 degrees. It's going to be a cold night and cold start in the morning under those partly cloudy skies. 31, your overnight low temp with mostly clear skies across the upstate. And an early look ahead at New Year's Eve and New Year's Day as we make the switch from 2023 to 2024. Uh, weather both days, temperature-wise fairly identical. We will see highs get back to the low and mid-50s, right around average for where we should be. Uh, but where New Year's Eve is dry, there may be a couple of spotty showers in the afternoon noon on New Year's Day, but neither of those are none of those. I should say looking to be uh, any issues for any kind of washouts. Rest of your forecast here 49 the high for Friday and Saturday in the upstate 53 on New Year's Eve. And then again, those possible showers going into New Year's Day, but at least it's not going to be a rain out and for the mountains low 40s for highs for Friday and Saturday, as well as that small chance for some snow showers and plenty of cold nights ahead all the way into most of next week. We're going to be talking about low temps consistently in the 20s. And make sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app as this cold wave of uh, air settles on in. We'll also keep you apprised of your New Year's Eve weekend forecast.